Okay guys, hopefully you can hear me because we just landed, we just touched down in Vegas. This is the beginning of the trip. I didn't get to record this morning or go into the airport because it was 5 a.m. So I didn't feel like talking. <laughs> but we just touched down. Um, Hubby sitting on his computer. We're deciding right now whether or not we want to Uber or whether or not we want to get a rental car. We're trying to decide right now. So this is the first part. I'm excited about going to the ACE the ASD show as well as um, getting some time with hubby, so excited. Okay guys, so we just arrived at the hotel and we are trying to get to our room. Just wanna give you the views. I missed this view of where we are. But of course there's a casino I don't really do casinos my husband does but I don't so not my thing one new thing is I did get some crocs said I would never get any but with all the standing that I do every day I got some crocs hey hey guys so we just arrived at our hotel in vegas so i'm gonna do a little room tour y'all gotta bear with me because i'm kind of like a new vlogger <laughs> it's so bad i was calling it a vlog don't judge me and my son had to be like mom come on it's a vlog not a vlog but i'm trying to share with you guys more of my experiences more of the things that i'm doing behind the scenes so i'm here um in vegas first for the asd show which is a trade show so let me know in the comments whether or not you guys have ever done a trade show how has it helped your business you know um so just to kind of explain this is an opportunity where the vendors are able to meet the retailers or the sellers the resellers so um the conference is set up for a lot of the brands who manufacture products as well as those who wholesale products to come and meet those who have the demand, who need to buy the products. So I have some new business cards made up. If I remember, I'll show the new business cards. My assistant made me some business cards for this event. Um, Cause I know me don't even carry business cards, but I know I'm gonna be walking around meeting a lot of people. So I'm super excited. Um, it's also slash me and my husband's getaway time. So pre pandemic, me and my husband would travel every month somewhere even if it was locally we did a lot of traveling throughout the year just to get away for nothing else but just for us to reconnect away from the family away from the kids just to get a mental break especially with the subscription business you need a mental break so we're going to be having some amazing time we're going to be letting our hair down and having so much fun um, here in Vegas. So I'm excited about that because we haven't been here in years. So we almost missed our flight. <laughs> um, we thought we were on time, but apparently they started boarding early. Um, so we almost missed our flight, but we ended up making it. Uh, we got here to Vegas and then this hotel is so big that it took us at least 30 minutes just to walk and get to our room. So let me give you guys a tour of the room. Okay, so here is when you first come in, here is the bathroom. And the hotel has such a, I don't know, like an old, you know, style look. Everything is so detailed. Got a TV in here, the wallpaper. Just everything is so detailed in the hotel. So here's a room. Bed is really nice. Super nice. There's Hobby, he always lounges. That's the first thing he ever does when he gets to a room. So just kind of how it's just kind of how it is. And then this is our view. We are looking right across at the Mirage. So pretty nice view. Pretty, pretty nice view. So this is where we'll be, guys. So I'm gonna, you know, do my best to do some updated um footage as we go different places just to kind of give you little peeks of if you haven't been to Vegas. You can kind of see what it's like and if you have never been to a trade show you can also see what that's like and decide whether or not this is something that you want to do in the future so i'll be back all right guys here we are we are 
are just arriving to the ASD show. This is what the outside looks like. I convinced my hubby to go with me. So, <laughs> um, he said I suckered him in. He was gonna go and do his thing today, but he is being my best support today, as always. So, here we are approaching. So, see you guys inside. particular brand has tote bags they have stationary products and all so this might be a good brand for me to partner with very cool stuff some not but you know it's pretty cool trip for the video <laughs> no missteps ah, ah, a snake a dinosaur <laughs> oh crap try to hold my camera and dude this is not a good look this black man takes egypt hey. oh gosh here we are in the middle of a desert It is so daggone beautiful out here and quiet. I don't think I've ever been anywhere this quiet before. This is real true stillness right here. Just pray I don't fall on a rock. Hey guys, so today is the second to last day in Vegas. Uh, we have been going, going, going for this whole trip. I've tried to get little clips of what I can. So um, today we are going to Miss Coco. Uh, it's, named, it's called Miss Coco's Cafe. This is somewhere I've always wanted to go because I admire her pictures um, of her cafe. So I just happened to be in Vegas. So I'm like, we have to go. So we're on the way there now. So we have done so far, we started with the trade show. So we did the ASD trade show. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that. We did um, the top of the world, went to dinner at the top of the world. We went out into the desert in the mountains. We pretty much toured all around there for a while. Um, did a little bit of hiking, not really, but <laughs> a little bit of climbing. Um, and we did dinner at an amazing restaurant. And we actually, it's like our favorite now, called Yardbird. They have some great chicken and waffles, skillet cornbread. Um, what else do we like there? The drinks are really good. They also have a really, really good dessert. We might go for that again before we leave. Um, it's like a peach cobbler that they make. Um, you just have to wait for it. So we did that as well. So a little bit, is it, did I miss anything babe, that we did? I think I did. Yeah, we went, yeah, we did other stuff, you know, like party party type stuff. But um, that's the stuff worth mentioning, I should say. Went to the malls, we did all that kind of stuff. Um, so today we're going to Miss Coco's. But to talk to you a little bit about the ASD show, because I want to make sure that I record this part before I get home and get <laughs> immersed back into home life. It was amazing. Okay, so for those of you who are interested in going to the ASD show, if you are an Amazon FBA seller, it is the perfect show for you because there are so many items that you can get marked down that you can resell on Amazon. I used to be an FBA seller. I, I had to stop because it takes a lot of energy. You guys, I have videos about selling on Amazon FBA if you want the truth about that and my experience with that. 
So um, now I'm just pretty much focused on my subscription business and I also do mentoring and coaching as well still, but that's it for me because I, I just can't fit anything else anymore. But if you're looking for FBA items, or you have a general merchandise store, like a dollar store or something like that, that's a great place to go. To me, the whole thing was mostly made up of um, general merchandise stuff. Um, and they did have like some of the vendors in little pockets and stuff. I really, really had to walk the whole thing. That was kind of exhausting. So make sure that if you ever do go out to one, you wear comfortable shoes, which you will be doing a lot of walking. Make sure you carry some business cards. Most of the people gave me their business cards, but I did give out some and I've already started um, getting uh, emails from people from the show, just following up with me, so that's really good. But you really had to walk it to find, for me, I really had to walk the show to find like the stationary products because most of the merchandise was general merchandise. And then like half of the place was stuff like hookah, um, CBD, that kind of stuff, sex toys, stuff like that. Like the second half of the whole thing was nothing but that kind of stuff. So I'm not even selling that kind of stuff. So the next time I go to a trade show, I plan to hit the Dallas market in Texas to see if they have more of what I'm looking for. I'm probably gonna do the Dallas market home and gift show hopefully before the year is out. If not, I'll hit it next year. But I did make some really, really great contacts. So when you go up to people, you really, really want to ask questions. Some of the questions that I asked the different vendors at the show, you know, what are your minimums? So you wanna know like, what's the minimum amount, the minimum required amount you have to spend with them. You wanna know that. How fast do they ship? You wanna know that. Um, is their website reliable as far as inventory? Should you just order straight from the website or should you contact them directly? I really did see some like cheap, cheap prices. I mean, almost China prices um, on a lot of the merchandise. So you wanna ask those questions. If there is a contact person, you want to get the contact person's information. And I kept in the notes section of my phone, I took pictures of different things and took notes under those pictures so that I could stay organized. And we also collect brochures and business cards um, from everybody there too. So I will say that most of the sellers at the ASD show or any trade show are looking to make sales. They are gonna spend most of their time and, and, and put most of their attention on people who are ready to buy right now. They wanna do deals with you at the show. They want you to buy at the show. That's something I may consider in the future where I may just put together like dedicated money to go ahead and buy up inventory at the show. But I just don't want a lot of extra inventory that I have to carry throughout the year and have to use storage and all that. So with the subscription box, I kind of buy as I go so that I can get rid of inventory um, quickly. So. That's pretty much that, guys. That's that's the deal. Um, I love, I was in love with Vegas this time. The first time I came, I did not like it at all. We came on a holiday weekend and we stayed in a hotel, kind of like a party hotel. And it's not really my speed, not really our speed like that. So we stayed in a more, much more upscale, this is years later. <laughs> we stayed in a much more upscale hotel. Um, so the people in there were more upscale, very laid back, and we got to see some really, really beautiful, beautiful parts of Vegas. Um, so I will definitely be back because I loved it this time. So we're, once I get into um, Coco's restaurant, her cafe, I'll try to show some footage of that, guys. But thank you so much for watching um, my vlog, my travel um, vlog with the trade show and all that stuff. Thank you so much. And if you want to see more content similar to this, with different things I'm doing and different places I'm going, let me know and I'll make sure to record.